Welcome back to Silent Hill Origins. In the last episode, we managed to get through Cedar Grove Sanitarium, and right at the very end we were given a theater ticket, which then marked the theater on the map in the town. So that was our next goal, and we wandered over here, and now we're at the very entrance to the theater, so haven't explored it yet, just the beginning. What's that arrow over here? This one, on the right side. I'm pressing the right button as if I could, like, look at other parts of the map, but it's not doing anything? What does it mean? The theater doesn't seem to have too many uh, rooms, but the rooms that it, do, it does have are pretty big. Main auditorium, okay. Oh my god, it's so dark. Is there a bottom to the theater? Is it just a black void? What are you doing in here, Lisa? Sorry if I scared you. I thought I was the only one in here. It's dangerous. Dangerous? You're kidding. The door was open, so I let myself in. I just love the theater, Travis. I want to be an actress. But mom was a nurse and her mom was a nurse, so I'm going to be a nurse. I've got what it takes, though. I can't stop thinking about you, Travis. I want you. You're all I think about. Let's get the hell out of this crazy town. Run off. The two of us. We could be so good together. <laughs> See? I could be a star! <laughs> yeah. Well, see you around. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> that wasn't a weird cut for me, by the way. That was just the game's weird cut. Okay. You know... Every game that Lisa's been in, they've either died or been just really poorly written and just totally trashed. So in the original Silent Hill, they died. In Silent Hill Shattered Memories, they were nice, but they died. In Silent Hill Origins, well, they haven't died, they probably won't, but they're just... I'm, their character's just, I mean... Ruined, I guess? There was never much of a character there to begin with, to be honest, but... Ah. <sighs> I don't like this version of Lisa. I love how the curtains light up as you get closer. Yeah, they just appear. Weird. Typewriter. Right. Hold on, I wanna go yeah, let's go back to that camera angle. If I'm not mistaken, that's just a that's just a a butt right in frame. It's a shame I can't light up that butt. It's very dark and grainy. I hope YouTube doesn't compress it out of the image. Gotta watch in 1440p 60 FPS if you wanna keep that butt. What is that, anyway? 
Mannequin? I think. A puppet. Looks like someone is in the middle of repairing it. It really looks like I'm supposed to do something with the puppet. I probably am at some point. Wait, does it say there's a door over here? Something's blocking. I can't open the door. Oh. I mean, there's just some bags on the ground, but okay. Oh, we're on stage. I beat you, Father. Hence, hang not on my garments. Sir, have pity. I'll be his shorty. Silence. One word more shall make me chide thee, if not hate thee. What? An advocate for an impossible? Hush. How thick is there is no more such? You okay, Tony? Yes. Yes. Fine. Just a headache. A damned nosebleed. You mind if we stop for a moment? I don't think Tony was okay. Service pistol ammo. Ooh, is that for the curtain? Peter, good luck getting anything to work. This place was wired by idiots. The safety curtain is on the same circuit as the spotlights. If a light blows, the whole thing fuses and you can't move the safety curtain. Idiots. Safety inspectors would blow a fuse literally if they saw this stuff. Wouldn't happen in the city. See you when I get back. Eric. Oh! They're enemies! Oh, it's the katana! I haven't used that yet. Okay, those are actually pretty cool enemies. I don't think there's very much that this game has done well. And enemies also are one of them. I mean, there's... I, okay, there's some cool stuff in the en for the enemies. I mean, the nurses, meh. The weird pig things that, like, drag their faces around, eh. They're okay. The mummy things, meh. Uh, butcher head, meh. The shadow things, where they cast a shadow but you don't see the bodies. And they have like a weird little metal thing somewhere on their body. That's kind of cool. But this is actually a really, really good type of enemy. Like just its design is super creepy and the way it moves around is unique.
I didn't even see that health drink. To be honest, I don't see half the stuff I pick up. I just kind of mash X when I get near stuff. Pizza boxes, dried makeup. That's all I can see here. Oh, another katana. Sweet. Jack says the town is located on old spiritual ground. Hopefully we will be blessed. Prospero equals shaman. Feathers, smoke, totemic magic. Ariel equals air spirit. Flight, projection, puppets. Caliban equals buffalo spirit. Skins pl plus Burkoffian performance on all fours. Poor actor. That's probably going to be important for something. Oh, and that's to switch worlds with this mirror here. Well, I don't know. I don't think I want to switch worlds just yet. Gotta pick up this portable TV first. Is there another puppet here? I hear chittering. to charge up my attack. Sun totem. Monday, rehearsals, fantastic. New costumes, fantastic. All in all, fantastic. Tuesday, Strange day. Girl snuck into theater today. Playing hooky, no doubt. Took pity. Let her sit and watch the run-through. Very useful feedback. Terrified by Colobon. Good job, costume department. Seemed to dislike Prospero intensely. Proceedings brought to premature end by poor Tony getting a shocking nosebleed during Act 1, Scene 2. We'll continue tomorrow. So, whoa, service pistol. I also didn't even see that. I was looking at the newspaper. But what am I picking up? Oh, it must have been in the drawer down there in the dark. I was looking at the freaking newspaper. I can't even read it. That's the target pistol, right? Yeah, this is the service pistol. Probably just a more powerful uh, target pistol. U.S. Army surplus weapon is well used, but still as smooth as ever. Love my gun smooth. Hold on, I'm trying to switch. I know I could switch in the uh, inventory and that would be faster. But yeah, these enemies are no big deal to use melee weapons on, so I don't want to waste bullets on them. Do they hurt me? I don't think they hurt me when I when they pick me up and then I mash X as long as I'm successful in doing it. Cause I'm still at green and I've been grabbed a couple times.
All right, I think that's the end of the line. I think I need to go to the other world. Yeah, I didn't try to go up the stairs or anything, though, but... Meh. Scripts. Having a time to read this sort of thing. Look at the way they crawl around on the ground. It's so creepy. I love it. Like, it's so well done. That was the director's office that we were just in. Backstage. Yeah, let's try backstage. Let's retrace our steps then, see what's unlocked. Oh, one of those things. Yeah, let's use my gun against it. Oh, you know what's cool? So if you do, a f I think I mentioned this before, if you do a finishing move with your gun, you waste a, a, a round because you shoot them. But if you're out of ammo and you haven't reloaded, it actually just stomps them instead. That's what just happened there. a little bit different. It's pretty reddish, like it's covered in blood or something. The others are not red at all. I wonder if it's a stronger version, or maybe just an aesthetic change? Wait, where does this go? Oh, stairs up. Not yet. Okay. It's your time to shine, stairs. Thank <laughs> you. 
either side of the door are two deep square holes. Set into the door is a plaque which reads, I am a child torn by twin desires. I stand before a door. My right hand calls to the light. My left hand ushers in darkness. Right hand calls to the light. That must be... This sun totem. Hmm. So that's it for here. Okay, I've gone back to the other world and back to the lobby, because I think what I'm missing is where I need to use that key for... What was it? Somewhere upstairs, I think? Balcony? Balcony something or other? So I probably need to go up these stairs right here. Before that, though, let's try this other door. Oh, it's a health drink. I thought it was like a clock or something. Oh god, this one starts on the ground. You know, even though I know it's, like, I probably should just stop using a melee weapon when it gets to red. It would really bother me to have an inventory full of red objects. Like, I just want to use them up until they break and then move on to the next one. Oh, balcony corridor. That's what the key is for. Oh, lighting boxes over here. What the hell is that noise? 125 watt light bulb. 750 watt? Okay, this is going to be a puzzle, isn't it? 250... 500. Whoa. <laughs> I only pressed the button once. Right, well, I think that was all the instructions. Wiring notes. Peter, as expected, the spotlights are as screwy as the rest of this place. Finally got them working. My trusty voltmeter saved the day again. Remember, you need all the lights working, otherwise the circuit blows. Throwing the circuit breaker gets old fast. Here are my notes. B has to be half the wattage of D. A plus B must not exceed C. Wattage of D must not exceed A. Break a leg, Eric. Thanks. This is definitely the sort of cryptic puzzle note that a uh, maintenance person would leave. Damn maintenance people. So I don't actually flip any switches in here, huh? Guess not. Probably should use a gun against those types of enemies. I keep telling myself I'll do that, and then I don't. Whoa. <laughs> I 
<laughs> now the noise is just gone because they went into the map? Okay. Ah, moon totem. Sweet. And okay, that door's broken, but we can unlock this from the other side. Okay, now we got a little bit more to explore up here. Balconies locked. Just leaves this. Storage and catwalks. Oh, the catwalks are probably where you change the bulbs, I would bet. Hmm. Oh, I didn't explore up here on the left. Let me go back through the corridor. Okay, yeah, that's all locked as well, so I think I have to go back to the other world and use the Moonstone. Now that I've got all the totems, I seem to be getting some resistance. Uh, it seems like all the enemies that I defeated have respawned, but there's also just a couple more, too. Like, this is right in front of the door that I need to use the totem on, and there's two of uh, our little friends here. Oh, three of them. Okay, you know what? Never mind, then I'm not gonna fight them. 